Don't you just hate it when you're playing a game and your flying base breaks? Well today I'm going to show you how to fix the Doomsday Arc Stroke Ghost Arc flying base with no magnets using the original base but making it stronger so that it never breaks again. And it's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, here we go. I'm going to show you how to easily fix the Doomsday Arc Stroke Ghost Arc base using the original flying stem. So no magnets. This is really easy to do. It's really stable and it's not fragile. Now my Ghost Arc is fully magnetized so I can have it as a Doomsday Arc or a Ghost Arc. That includes having the Gauss flayers the correct way around. I've got a tutorial on how you can do that yourself and I'll link you up to that tutorial at the end of this video. But this video is all about fixing the very fragile flying base that they supply in the box. Now I know a lot of people would have alternatives to using the actual flying base including some third party magnetized bases. However, this quick fix which I'm going to show you today is very easy to do and it involves using no additional pieces. So you don't have to buy magnets, you don't have to buy a new base, you just use what's in the box. And all you need to do this is a standard hobby knife, a mini drill. So this is a standard hobby drill which you can get from any hobby shop or you can buy this online. I'm going to be using a three millimeter drill bit. And then I'm using a little round file, a standard file that you would use to just clean up any mold lines. Okay, so let's have a look at how we're going to do this stem. Now on my ghost arc, I'm just going to take it apart because it's easier to do. Now the way this works is the little flying stem has a small section on the top, which is supposed to go into the hole of the model. However, this small section just breaks quite easily. Now I do have a video on how to repair the stem on one of these flying bases if you want to or need to put a new stem in there. However, that's not what this video is about. Now, of course, if the stem has physically broken off inside the miniature, you're going to have that piece of plastic in the hole. And your first job will be to drill out that piece of plastic that's broken off. So just use your little drill just to drill that section out. Now of course if you're building this miniature from scratch and you haven't built and painted it and had a broken base, you won't have to drill out the hole. The hole will already be there. However, we will want to drill out the hole bigger than it originally is. I'm actually using a technique which I used on my wave serpents for my Aldar, where effectively you make a bigger hole for the stem to go into the hole. Now the stem is actually beveled, it's not dead straight. So that gives us the advantage of being able to push it into the hole and effectively almost jamming it into position, but not making it impossible to actually physically get back out again, which of course is great for storage. So we're going to take our drill piece and we're going to drill out a hole into the hole that's already there, just making it bigger. And we want to go all the way through so that the drill piece literally goes right the way through the plastic until you've gone to the inside of the tube. Obviously, we're not going to drill the other side of the tube, just so that we've got inside to the tube. Now, my drill piece just came out here, so I'm just going to uh, tighten it back up. And then we're going to continue to drill. Now the idea is we want to widen this so that we can get the little stem into it. And we're going to widen it by drilling around the whole area and just pushing the drill piece to the side. So up, down, left and right as we drill, just widen the hole. Now you could use a bigger drill piece, but I don't have a bigger one than three millimeters. Now the other option is to use a knife to widen the hole and also a file. In actual fact, I use all three of these, just gradually making that hole bigger. And of course, being careful not to widen the hole so much that you just obliterate all of the plastic around it. So take your time, continue to drill out this hole until the stem goes all the way in the hole. 
And here is me a few minutes later, the hole's drilled and the stem pushes in. It fixes into position. When I put the ghost arc together, I have a nice stable fit. Now, yes, it does wobble a bit, but that is normal, but it's very secure. And even if the miniature got knocked, it's not going to break the stem off. Plus, I can take it out of the hole for storage. So, fantastic job. Now, of course, I want to do this for the Doomsday Arc as well. That's a slightly different scenario. So with the Doomsday Arc, you've got the stem going actually in to the Doomsday Cannon. There's a little hole there. Again, mine's magnetized, so I'm going to take it out of the Doomsday Arc just to make it easier to drill this hole out. And effectively, I'm going to repeat what I did on the Ghost Arc version. I'm going to drill out the hole, make it bigger. I'm going to go all the way through that tube so that the stem goes through the hole and out to the other side because there's not that much plastic there to actually get a great fit. But once it goes right the way through, it will be fine. So drill out the hole, move the drill piece to the side, up, down, left and right as you're drilling it, just to widen it. We're trying to get a bit of a bevel on that hole and then use the knife and the file until you have a hole big enough for the stem to go all the way in, a nice fit. And here it is, all drilled out, and the stem now goes into the hole, a nice fit, goes all the way through that little section. It's nice and secure. When I put it into my doomsday arc, it sits fantastically stable and secure and isn't going to break. And that's using the original Games Workshop bases and I was so pleased with my results that I actually did exactly the same for my Annihilation barges as well. And of course, my two barges are also magnetized so I can have an Annihilation barge or the Catacomb Command barge, depending on my preference. Now, what I'm going to do is link you up with some other videos here for you to check out next. These are really useful videos. The first video there is how to repair broken Necron flying bases check it out, I've got some great tips in there for all types of broken bases. And here is the video on how to magnetize the Doomsday Arc stroke Ghost Arc, and here's a video on how to magnetize the Annihilation Barge. Uh -huh.